Right, what I'm going to cover tonight is probably the, the secret technique of Waddle. Yeah, it's so secret you could even say it's the hidden technique. Hidden, did you get it? No? Right, okay. Some people say, oh, why don't you say, <coughs> might say that by doing that one technique they can actually see your Waddle. This technique you might even practice just once in a night, if you're lucky. Hopefully you can practice it a few more times, but actually, depending on how your instructor counts out your basics, you might even do one, which is why I think it's so, so important. And the technique is, well, it's basically go from Shizen to Ayo Yori into Hidari Gamai. Why is it so important? It's, uh, for me, it's, it's how, and how do you get from this position into Junzuki position before you start doing all, your, all of your basics? So the Junzuki, the Kakazuki, they're okay, but actually taking this position from here to there and then making that Hidari Kama, it's so, so important in how you use your body mechanics, your weight, your movement, etc. etc. And also how to hide your technique. So, we're not just taking up the position, but just, oh, that's not important, that's the important bit. But this is, that's how you take this from here to there, arms up here, into a punching position. Or sometimes you can practice this way, just from here. Okay. At least that is better than this. This does nothing. At least here, you're recognising you are making that an attack from Shidentai forward and there. Okay? So it's not just taking up the position prior to your first technique. Your first technique is from here. Okay. And this arms up to attack comes into uh, Tokikamazuki arms. Yeah. So they're not to pull back here, to punch the jaw down, hide them, come from an early view. So it's hidden from here. It's very difficult to see from there than it is from here. So from here. The Pinarina as well. I make some strange connections in my uh, in my training. So this time, I'm making a connection to um, speed skaters and also high jumpers. Yeah, you'll get what what I mean in a bit. So just a progression of uh, some basic techniques. So in Jigutai, just from here, just Jordan Jinzuki on the spot, just using your body, your shoulders as well, relax, and then punch. Now let the arm drop. Don't punch and pull back. It's fast. And then relax afterwards. And then relax afterwards. Then relax afterwards. So on the spot, and just a little bit of a shift as if you're kind of just slipping a punch here. Just 
gives your body a little bit more and then moves to just shuffling a little bit of kriyashi here uh, and then a little bit further here still punching forward a bit like Shurinj can pull maybe then after a while just move jump like plyometrics training there to there to there and then punch down just leaving up weight side side but then transferring that momentum to forward action so like speed skaters here so when you land your arm sorry your foot your leg is at that kind of angle to absorb and then build that energy up to then go again so not to stop absorb 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 yeah so this is the kind of speed skating here yeah? but then this conversion of a, this movement to something straightforward is what um, high jumpers do they're running and convert that speed into a vertical movement so from one plane to another plane similar to the Piakas if you're not stuck yet yeah. moving your weight and then converting this movement into this forward movement <coughs> and this transfer of weight onto this leg means you have to absorb it not to stop have this pressing compression to then fire your speed in that way this can't be straight because if you push in this will come out just have a little bit of an angle on that knee to be able to then act as a break bang turn the hips in lock solid and then forward okay so from here and bigger bigger to then down and then yeah physically not coming kind of practice hurrah and if you're wondering why this belt's tucked in in wado by some people not not everyone does it and i don't normally do it but the reason why i did it tonight with all that kind of lateral movement the belt can come undone and how many times you've seen people adjusting the belt etc etc so once it's in place and tucked in well actually that just doesn't get in the way of training so that's why we do this kind of knot not in place but also it's still more difficult to grab and use i guess or so they say but uh, you know one of the prime benefits is it's just it's more difficult to come undone